guys this is how to install the release bearing we gotta install the we're gonna change the release bearing on this one see this one is old let's change it to the new one See this one here. I need to take this thing out. So the wrist bearing is actually busted. Like a lot of play on it, as you can hear. So I need to take it out. Since this is the clutch line. Clutch lining. Yes. Freaking savage, so we're gonna clean here a little bit. Remove the one that's line dust here. Lining in here. Uh, this is like kind of plug and play. That uh, release bearing is sitting in like that only. Okay, and that's it. Simple. There's no retainer, pin, or click, or whatever. So we just clean this thing out, put a little bit grease, and then that's it. Put a little bit of 
lubricant here like anti seize grease this is a copper wire copper copper grease and that's it and put here also a little bit so it will just slide on after okay that's it and then install is kind of like fall out and play so see this bump here should be attached in here okay not this one but uh like uh no uh, and so just a little bump <laughs> So it is luck. So that is luck already. What's this one here? So this is luck here. And so that's it. So if it is too almost singles you might <laughs> might use this one let's see how it goes because this is a single mass plywheel in there so we're gonna use this part here the bigger one so it has the big elaborate as well uh, this one sounds like it doesn't get in Sounds like it doesn't get in, so it just stayed in on this part here. That one. That's it. Okay. So that's how you install a release bearing on the BMW 1 Series i20. Okay. Let's clean up. Let's clean up a little bit. So that's it. Can we clean as much as we can? So the challenging scenario here is to install this gearbox. So that's it guys. Uh, see the lock. It is locked in here now. It is locked 
as you can see it cannot be pulled out so that will play alongside with that okay now we're gonna install now should uh, work should they work okay so sometimes you don't have to remove this uh, retainer pin here because this is a uh, kind of uh, like uh, once it's expand then it can no longer it, it might uh, break no so don't remove this one as much as you can so just to avoid it from breaking because sometimes that is uh, like a brittle or kind of uh, 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 delicate so don't remove that one if not broken so don't do it don't remove so it may make your life easier here so that's it so see it is luck cannot be removed so it is locked in place just push around so it will lock itself like the little uh, there's an inside here is a little uh, kind of dowel or lock plastic like a pump that will hold on the port ah, clutch work that's it guys thank you